Hey everyone, this is Lyndon with HTC One SoftModder, and today I'd like to show you how to turn your HTC One into a Nintendo 64 emulator. A quick note before I begin the video, the use of ROMs and emulators may or may not be legal in your country, so be sure to check out the local laws before you continue with downloading an emulator and downloading ROMs. You'll need to do two things to get this up and running on your device. You will have to have an emulator and you will have to have game ROMs. The first thing I want to show you how to do is install a emulator which will play the game ROMs that you'll download in a minute. I personally like Super N64 and in parentheses it says N64 emulator from the Google Play Store. There are many available. I like this one just because it is an open source one. It's free and it's very easy to use and it plays every most of the games uh, pretty well. You will have to download ROMs to get this to work but for now uh, just install the emulator which I have done and make sure it's you open it. It will give you a prompt to rate it unless you uh, hit later it nags you and uh, continuously until you have actually rated it. Uh, there is a donate version to remove the uh, nag screen it is available in the Play Store and it's 99 cents. Uh, you will have to download the ROMs like I stated. I have a outline on how to do that in the full tutorial. If you prefer to do it without watching the full tutorial, what you'll need to do is download uh, ROMs. The emulator supports many formats such as Z64 and V64 and ZIP. Uh, it will uh, search your internal storage for the ROMs and find them and it will list them all under choose game. Uh, what I like to do though is keep them all organized in a folder on your internal storage. I created a folder called ROMs and then a subfolder called N64 just to uh, keep them all in, a, in one directory rather than have files all over the internal storage and making it a mess. So I personally hooked up the phone into my computer to transfer the files. Uh, how you do that is your, your prerogative. Um, uh, I like I mentioned, I did outline how to do that on the full tutorial, so be sure to check that out in the description on the video. So now that I have transferred the ROMs over, I would want to launch one. So I just choose, so I tap choose game, and you'll see I have the games that I've transferred listed under the ROMs N64 folder and I'm just going to load one here and once you're ready to play just tap on play it will give you a prompt whether you want to resume it or restart it saves your progress wherever you're at every time you close the emulator so if you want to resume wherever you're playing or whether you want to restart the game uh, just like the restart button on the system it's up to you I'm just going to resume it. There is only a landscape mode on this and it's a bit tricky just because of the uh, layout of the N64 controller as you can see. So you may want to get a third party uh, controller if you ever uh, play this a lot. Uh, if it's just for casual use, I mean the dawn screen controls are okay. Uh, if you tap on the screen in any place, you will see the top menu bar. That allows you to adjust the speed of the emulation and the uh, load and save slot function. The uh, slot function allows you to save a specific part of the game and then load that part immediately. So if you're on a specific level that you can't beat, I would suggest saving in that slot and that way you can just constantly go back to it. Additionally, you have the menu button from there and that allows you to, um, to go through the game options as well as exit the emulator. And you'll notice it automatically saves there. Uh, a quick view through the settings of the emulator. You have the typical settings, you have input settings where you can adjust the input settings, uh, video settings, audio settings, and then uh, plugins and advanced settings. 
I would leave the advanced settings alone just because uh, they, there are specific options and usually not required to modify. Uh, input settings you can adjust, you know, controller options if you get that third party controller like uh, the MOGA controller that works really well. Uh, additionally you can map the volume keys to a specific functions. You can uh, enable multiplayer, you can actually play multiplayer on the HTC One. Uh, video settings, you can adjust the, the graphic settings. I would personally leave these alone just because they affect performance and it may uh, you know, result in messed up uh, video settings. Uh, you can actually adjust the screen orientation here. I would suggest leaving it into landscape in landscape mode just because it uh, all the buttons on the Nintendo 64 controller work a lot better in, under landscape. Otherwise, they're all squished and it's hard to really hard to play under portrait. Audio settings. Uh, once again, I would just leave that alone. You don't really need to swap audio channels uh, to to play games on here. Uh, additional settings, you can adjust the language of the app, You can, and then there's help in about. So that was a quick overview on how to play Nintendo 64 games on your HTC One. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the YouTube video, or check out the full tutorial on HTC One Soft Modder, and you can leave comments there or uh, post questions. And uh, I hope you got a a brief overview on how to install it and I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the video. Thanks for watching.